Hey, this is James Arnold Taylor, the voice of Obi-Wan Kenobi, Master Plo Koon, Johnny Tess, totally awesome, Fred Flintstone, and a bunch more. And you are listening and watching and viewing and experiencing Pavlina's Kids Place. The force is strong here. This is the place you're looking for. This is Pavlina from Pavlina's Kids Place. I'm on location um, in Orlando at the Star Wars Celebration 6 with the host of Star Wars Celebration 6, <laughs> the voice actor, James Arnold Taylor. Hello. How are you? I'm good. How are you? I am fantastic. I'm thrilled to be here with you. This is quite an honor for me. Thank I mean, you. it's an honor to be at Celebration 6. It's an yeah. honor to be with you. So, yeah, we have an amazing time here. I don't know if everybody knows what happens at Celebration 6. It's all things Star Wars. It is an event you do not want to miss. And you will come... Come now. You can come through the camera. Come right in here and experience it. So, you know, I'm the voice of Obi-Wan Kenobi, but I'm also the voice of many other characters. Uh, Master Plo Koon mm -hmm. on the show. But then there's a show called Johnny Test. Have you ever seen yeah. Johnny Test? Oh, totally yeah. awesome. I'm also Johnny Test. Could you believe it? And, uh, yeah, but yeah, but do. Fred Flintstone, too. Pretty cool, huh? But, uh, so they asked me to come in and host the main stage. Mm -hmm. And this main stage, we get to interview all these cool people like the Emperor, Ian, mm -hmm. Ian McDermott. Yeah. He's, it's the first time he's ever really allowed us to interview him. Like this, it's oh. the emperor. You know, of course, you can't interview the emperor every day. And then we've got uh, Mark Hamill and mm -hmm. Carrie Fisher, Luke Skywalker, and Princess Leia. Pretty cool, right? But then the cast of the Clone Wars. Mm -hmm. you, now, do you watch the Clone Wars? You ever seen the Clone? Yeah. Okay, very good. All right, good, cool. All right. So, um, so Obi Wan Kenobi, and then Anakin Skywalker, Matt Lanter. Now, Matt Lanter is on nine hundred two one zero. Kind of a, he's a hunky, you know heartthrob kind of guy. He's mm -hmm. going to be here. D. Bradley Baker. D. does the voice of all the clones, wow. but he does voices on, on so many other things. You ever seen Phineas and Ferb? Yes. He's on really? Phineas and Ferb. He's Perry the Platypus. Wow. Yeah, pretty cool. He did that sound once. Mm -hmm. He went in and recorded it once. That I can't do the sound. Little, D. is amazing. Yeah. <laughs> And uh, he did that once, and that was it. Uh, but uh, then we got Tom Kane. Tom mm -hmm. Kane is the voice of Yoda and mm -hmm. the announcer, but he's the voice of all sorts of things, movie mm -hmm. trailers and stuff. He's got that big voice, yeah. just like that. And then uh, Ashley Eckstein. Mm -hmm. Now, uh, have you ever talked to Ashley? I haven't. Oh, you got to talk to Ashley. That'd be fun. <laughs> you would have fun with Ashley because she does uh, Ahsoka Tano, who's mm -hmm. the very cool uh, girl Jedi, and she's my favorite Jedi. I love her. And then Ashley herself designed a uh, line of clothing called Her Universe. And wow. it's, it's, it's sci-fi clothing for ladies because yeah. she recognized that you all need very cool stuff. So yeah. there you go. So we've got all of these people coming. But then we've got, we've got previews of things. We're showing the shows. We've got the movies playing. We've got panels. You've got interviews. You've got uh, all the cool merchandise out yeah. there. It's so much fun. So, I, I mean, there's, there's a, just an abundance for you to do. Mm -hmm. So now have I sold it enough? Are you, are you happy to be here now? Yes. Okay. Oh, very good. Okay, good. So now do you have questions for me? I've just been talking and talking. Yes, I do. Okay. Um, <laughs> so um, what all do you plan to do like, as the host for like, this monster-sized uh, Star Wars event? Well, you know, it is, it's one of those things where when you go, okay, I've got to host something this big. How do I mm -hmm. do it? And that's why it's like I'm in this kind of mode of just yeah. sell it all and get it all out there. But really the main goal for me, mm -hmm. the main goal for me in life is to have fun and enjoy it, to sit back and relax in it. When, when the world is going crazy around you, be able to take that moment to go, ah, this is fun. Mm -hmm. So to enjoy Star Wars in a way that I can enjoy it just in a day-to-day -day basis because I'm with all my people here, mm -hmm. all the fans and all the people that love Star Wars. So that's my main goal as host. So there you go. That's good. Okay. Yeah. So um, when did you know that you could do so many voices and like who did you look for for help or ideas? Ah, good question. Well, you know, uh, I am the voice of all these characters like I was yeah. talking about and then I do a lot of celebrity voices and stuff. Mm -hmm. And I just really found, ever since I was a little kid, uh, that I just tuned into it. I could mm -hmm. hear them in my head. And I figured if I could hear them in my head, I'd feel my throat kind of change and I could just do it. Now, my heroes mm -hmm. growing up were Mel Blanc, who yeah. was, you know, Bugs Bunny and Daffy Duck, everything. And then Don Messick. Don Messick was Papa Smurf and Scooby-Doo yeah. and Boo-Boo Bear and Mr. Ranger. And I actually got to work with him. Wow. And uh, I got to talk to him a few times, and that was really cool. Took him to lunch, and we, we mm -hmm. talked. And so I got encouragement from these people that had gone before me. And I think that's always yeah. the thing. You know, you find people that have done what you, you want to do, and you ask them. And uh, 
they were really encouraging. Yeah. Voice actors are always very encouraging to mm -hmm. others. So, yeah. Nice. That's yeah. good then. Okay. And that's really cool that you got to work with them. That's yeah. cool. Yeah. So kids have all kinds of obstacles growing up. What obstacle did you have and how did you overcome or deal with it? That's a great question. You know, I have a show here that I do called Talking to Myself, and in it I do uh, a bunch of different voices. But the primary goal of that show is to kind of tell you about my life and how I came to this, you know, way of life, but also some of the challenges. Mm -hmm. And uh, as a kid, I grew up in a, in a single-family home. Um, I never really knew my father. I never met him. And uh, that was always kind of one of those things for me that I think, you know, there could have been a feeling of loss. But um, I'm somebody that, uh, that has a faith uh, in God, and I, I cling to that. And, um, and I used that as my way to kind of get out and away from all of the problems that surrounded me. And I find that, you know, when I lean on him and I don't lean on myself, I allow him to kind of do the work, it all works for me. So, mm. yeah. That's good then. Okay. So, like, how long does it take to learn a new voice, and do you have any favorites? Ooh, good question. Different voices take different amounts of time. Some voices I may hear, and I can just do it right away. Mm -hmm. um, like, uh, there's a guy, Gilbert Gottfried. Now, you ever seen Aladdin? There's yeah. a Iago. Oh, and yeah, yeah. Polly Wanna Cracker. Oh, sure. So he's that. I mean, for some reason, I just tuned right into him. Mm -hmm. uh, or you've got Michael J. Fox. Whoa, wait a second, Doc. You mean to tell me you built a time machine out of a DeLorean? The way I see it, Marty, if you're going to build a time machine into a car, why not do it with some style? So now Christopher Lloyd took a little longer. I had to kind of study him and the way he talked. But Michael J. Fox came pretty easy because it's mm -hmm. close to my regular voice. So each one takes a different amount of time. Mm -hmm. And uh, it's, it's fun. I like just working on them and I watch the movies. It yeah. gives me a good chance to just watch movies, really. That's, Definitely. that's, <laughs> yeah. that's good. Excuse, yeah. <laughs> um, so have you ever done like girl voices? Like could you try to do mine? I, ah, <laughs> boy, you really put me on the spot. I have done girl voices and in my show, talking to myself, mm -hmm. six thirty at uh, the main stage here on Saturday night. Um, I uh, do some little some voices here and there, but mm -hmm. uh, could I do your voice? You know, I would have to I would have to work on it a little. Okay. But yeah. uh, you have a lovely voice. So um, yeah, I would want to do it. Also, it's early, oh, and so okay. I've got that kind of uh, kind of thing. <laughs> so you might sound a little more like uh, you know a big tough guy. <laughs> so, but I'm gonna work on it. Okay. I'm gonna work on it. Okay. Okay. Thank you. Uh, yeah, sure. okay so, um, like it, there. Whoa, whoa. Okay, there are so many um, Star Wars stars here. Like, is there someone that you're really excited to say hi to? Well, you know, I think one of the coolest things is getting to say that Mark Hamill, Luke Skywalker, is yeah. a friend of mine. Uh, and I've known him for years, and we've worked together for years. But this is the first time we've been together in a Star Wars environment. And that will be fun because I get to interview him mm -hmm. uh, tomorrow night on the oh. big stage. So I'm really looking forward to that. But I'm also really excited about Ian McDermott because, mm -hmm. again, it's really the first time he's done this. And just to ask him questions mm -hmm. and, and talk about his career will be fun. Nice. That's yeah. Great. Okay. So um, do you have a favorite Star Wars quote? Oh, well, you know, I think one of the quotes that I say the most is probably, especially as Obi-Wan, is, I have a bad feeling about this. <laughs> but uh, my favorite Star Wars quote, uh, you know, I think it probably goes down to the, is, and I'll think of a million of them after this, yeah. but the first one that comes to mind is Han Solo, because it was an ad lib. Mm -hmm. uh, Harrison Ford, you know, very dramatic, Princess Leia is saying, mm -hmm. I love you, and he's about to go into carbon freezing, and Empire Strikes Back, and he says, I know. And it's yeah. like... It's just so cool. It was, he's just a cool guy. So that's one of my favorite ones. A little yeah. off, but yeah. So Awesome. Okay, so what are your upcoming plans and events? Well, let's see. Uh, you know, we have been planning for this for so long. Yeah. And I have uh, the goal of taking my stage show, talking to myself, out on the road. So I would hope that people would get a chance to go check it out on YouTube. Go to my, uh, my um, page, www.jamesarnoldtaylor.com, mm -hmm. and check it out and click stage show. But I'm always uh, working. Um, Johnny Test, we're in the, the process of doing season six for Johnny Test. Uh, we've got more Clone Wars. We're uh, recording season six of Clone Wars right now. Uh, and uh, it's just uh, more games, Ratchet and Clank, uh, just all sorts of stuff. So of a voice actor, you're always in motion. Yes, definitely. Well, yeah. thank you so much for talking thank to me. Thank you. It is an honor and a privilege. And the force is strong here indeed, <laughs> right here indeed. Thank you. Thank you.